Hey, Ragelings, and welcome to another Let's Play video. This time, we're jumping into a demo for a little game by Debbie Ever called Lillian Gish and the Edge of Reason. This seemed like it uh, was started kind of as a, uh, a one-off title. Um, but following it over the last couple days, it's kind of evolved. The original demo was kind of, it was a little silly, but it took you through all the different uh, aspects of the game. And since then, uh, there's been a lot more added to the game, and it's become, instead of what looked like just kind of a uh, an experiment of sorts, it's becoming its own little title, and it's actually kind of interesting. I've had some time to play through it, and uh, this is actually a whole new build that I haven't even tried yet. So we're going into this blind. Ding. Alright, so, <clears throat> this character here is Lillian Gish, I assume. And our main mode of getting through this game, uh, wow, that is a long-ass float. That is now officially the longest airtime of any video game character ever. But our main mode of doing anything is, other than the jump, we have this little mechanic that throws knives. Now, clearly this is something that appeals immediately to me, but this is how we're going to get through areas and as you can see there's different things we can do like I can uh, let's, let's see if there's anything up here we uh, uh, hold on there we go ah oh there's the top of the screen there's that knife I threw at the beginning of the video okay well let's uh drop down now there's some things that we can do here there's a nice little bridge here we can walk across it but I don't want anybody else getting across it so we're just gonna cut the bridge down. Boosh. Love it. Croucher. Is that an enemy? Clinger. Death Knight. Wizard. Alright. Well, let's start with the Croucher. I'm gonna drop down here. Now, uh, whoa, oh, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Is this a rogues gallery or something? Holy shit. What? Nope, nope. Man, that was weird. Oh, okay, I see you. You're right there, fool. Ha! Oh, whoa. Nice. Beautiful. Ha, ha. I'll never bother anyone ever again. I am the hero of the universe. Oh yeah. I, I, I hate when I do that. It's when you're trying to compensate for a uh, failed jump and you're already like a couple steps ahead of successfully doing it. I do that sometimes and it really annoys me. Because I have to tell my brain to stop. Alright. Ah. Hmm. Wait. Hold on. How am I... What? How the hell am I supposed to beat this guy? Hmm. Knives don't stack either. Oh! Ah! Oh, God. I'm going to have to actually attack him as he's attacking me, I think. Oh, got him. Oh, wow. That is terrifying. I don't like that. Okay. So, we're going to hop back up here. And I guess we're fighting the wizard. The wizard. D. D. Oh, God. Ooh, you little shit. Wait, did, was I able to actually manipulate that? Nope. Oh, God. All right, how am I going to take care of this guy? Ah! Oh, God. Okay, I think I got this. Nope. 
Aha! Just basically I spam his ass. Alright, so now we gotta get back up, I think. I'm not sure if there's anything left in this demo here. Okay, there we go. Ah, shit. There, there we go. So, I mean, all in all, I'd have to say this is actually really cool. I like the premise of using the knives. Um, the more I think about it, this, the more this seems like a game that Ron Popeil would have made. <laughs> and that's not all. Do 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 do. It slices, it dices, it works as a platform. I guess that's the end. I don't see any other pla paths I can go to. Plaths, paths, Sylvia, plaths I can go to. And, um, hmm. I mean, this is interesting. I like the little rogues gallery uh, thing we have going on here that shows you the different enemies that you're going to fight in the actual game. And seeing this is just a, uh, I'm guessing this is an alpha build slash demo that we're going for. And the uh, knife component is a really nice uh, mechanic in the game. Using it as a weapon and a tool is very smart. And I like the uh, whole use it as a platform thing. I just wish there was a little bit more, but I mean, obviously, this is a work in progress. The sound design's pretty good. I like the little noise that the knives make. The only thing that I have to say is the uh, that noise, the sound effect here with the feet hitting the ground, kind of sounds a little weird, a little tinny for uh, what I'm assuming is me falling on rocks. But you know, it's just a little criticism. Everything else is pretty awesome. I love the texture designs in the back. The pixel art is fantastic. Um, and this isn't the first game that Devi ever has done. There is another title that she's uh, put out, and I'm actually going to link that in the description, as well as the link to this, so you can donate, um, get yourself a copy of the game, as well as support her efforts to make the titles. Uh, the other game that she did was Dreaming Sarah, and I've had a chance to play some of that, and it was pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure if it's available yet, uh, but if it is, you know, obviously, go grab that. Definitely uh, check this out, and if you like it, please, please do send your support out with some money and uh, help make this game. So, uh, alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and as always, share with your friends to help spread the Raceling Swarm. As I said before, and I'll say at the end of every video, don't forget to check this game out at deviever.com, and thank you for watching.